My name is Mark Kirschenbaum. I'm the Assistant Director of Campus Utilities. Primary function is the operation of the power plant. And uh, a week ago, Sunday night, we experienced a large water leak in the basement of the power plant, uh, water critical to the operation of the plant. About a 100 gallon per minute leak. And uh, we managed to do some damage control so that we could continue to run but uh, we had no idea, of course, how long it was going to last. So we uh, scheduled a, an emergency outage for this for today, Saturday, and uh, we could not tell exactly where the leak was because it was encased in asbestos. The steam from this facility heats the entire University of Washington Seattle campus. So if we had uh, shut down, it would have affected the building heat for all the academic buildings, the libraries, the art galleries, the hospital the dorms, the athletic complex, health sciences, everything. The biggest complication was the asbestos insulation around the uh, leak area. Uh, we're very used to working with asbestos and typically we can remove a what's called a valve blanket which is wired on. Even though it might be made of asbestos, we can unwire it, drop it away and see what the problem was. But the vintage of this particular installation which is from 1967 uh, at that time frame, they were encasing everything in asbestos. There was nothing removable. Uh, all you, you had to abate it. You had to have a crew come in, cut it physically off. There was nothing to unwire. And because of that, we couldn't do any sort of inspection of what the leak was. So we really didn't know until this morning, or this at noon, where the leak was coming from and what it looked like. Because the very first thing we did was have an abatement crew remove the asbestos and once it was safe to enter the space we, we inspected, saw what the problem was and developed a, a plan that actually worked. So it was a big question mark, what, what was wrong, how we were going to fix it. So we planned for everything we could think of, had uh, uh, steam fitters here, a pipe fitting company, emergency repair companies, and of course our own power plant crew. And they uh, accomplished the repair by alternately shutting down pumps, working on the leak, re plugging the leak temporarily, restarting the pumps, pumping the plant back up and we did it I think about eight times and uh, managed to keep uh, the plant running providing service in the middle of winter.